This video is brought to you by Skillshare. And I will show you my top 10 favorite Linux applications. And the program number 10, Darktable. This is a program to process raw images taken with a DSLR camera. And I think this is the most impressive Linux application. It is a free program, but it is as powerful as Lightroom from Adobe, which is a commercial program. I have been using Darktable for about 8 years and it has been developed at incredible pace. There are so many features. I just want to show you some examples how I use it. For example, you can see this image. This is a processed image. But if I go back to the history, I can show you how it looked as original image. So this is the original image and this is a processed image. The difference quite incredible, isn't it? Here is another example. This is a processed image and here's an original image. But before you are able to process an image with Darktable, you need to take a nice picture. And you can learn how to do that at Skillshare. There are many great classes on photography. I recommend you to start with this course, Fundamentals of DSLR Photography by Photo Essentials and Justin Bridges. It will introduce you all the basics like shutter speed, aperture, ISO and many other things that will help you to take nice pictures. Skillshare is a great place to explore many other topics, including writing, video making, music, design, web development, business, lifestyle and productivity. You will also find many Linux classes here. The first 1000 people who click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. The next application is GIMP. It is another fantastic image manipulation program on Linux. You can consider it as a Photoshop alternative. If Darktable can compete with Lightroom, I think GIMP is not as powerful as Photoshop, but it still has more than enough tools for non-professional editor. Let me just show you what you can do with GIMP. This is the image you have seen previously in Darktable section. Now I have selected this bird with a selection tool and I will copy it, then I will paste it, create a new layer from this pasted image, select a moving tool, move this bird here, then I go to layers, transform, I will flip it horizontally, next I want to align these two birds on the same level, for example I can use this line to align it, something like this, next I will select a razor tool, select another brush here, increase its size and wipe a bit here to make it smooth like this, so as you can see now we have a nice image of two birds sitting symmetrically to each other. So you can print this image, put it into a frame and place it on your wall. You can also create thumbnails for YouTube, as I have done here. I have actually shown how I created this thumbnail in a separate video, so I'm not going into details right now. I will link for that video in the description and here on the YouTube card. Please watch it. And the application number 8 is K Color Chooser. This is KDE specific application, but there are alternatives for other desktops as well. And it is a very simple app which helps you to define the color which you can see on your screen. You just select this button pick screen color. And then as you can see as you move your cursor, this part changes its color and you can easily define what kind of color code for this specific color. For example, what's the color of this Plasma 5 wallpaper? I click on it. And then I can get HTML code for that color. This is very useful for web development and in general for image manipulation and creation. Very simple application, but very handy. I use it almost every day. And the program number 7, KDN Live. This is a video editor I use to create all the videos you see on this YouTube channel. It is a very good program, of course, it is not perfect. It had many bugs in the past and it was very difficult to use, it crashed many times but it improves with every new release. And now I believe it is very stable and highly reliable program. It works very well and I am very happy with it. I edit all my videos with this program. For example, this is a video on top 5 GNOME themes, which I have edited in KDN Live. And you can see how I have cut this part into different pieces here. It's Orchis theme, Nordic Dark theme, Italian Green theme, 365 OS theme and ultimate dark theme. So as you can see you can easily apply some simple effects in your videos, cut it into pieces, combine different videos together, 
and then you can just export this video and publish it on YouTube. You can do even more complicated things with KD in Live. For example, if you have seen my channel intro trailer, here it is. I have also created it in KD in Live, and I have shown how I did it in a separate video, which you can watch by clicking on this card or by clicking on the link in the description. So here it is. Yeah, it plays a little slow because I have many applications open now and I'm also recording my desktop. You can create an animation like this in KD in Live. Moreover, you can even create a fancy animation like this one, for example. This is a lower third animation. I have also shown how I created it in a separate video, which I will leave in the description and in the card here in the top right corner. And the sixth program is PDF Sum. This is a program to manipulate PDF documents. And I have made a separate video on this program as well. So you can do many things with this program. You can split your PDF by pages, you can merge different PDF documents, you can rotate pages, extract, you can also use your bookmarks to split images. Like, there are also many fancy premium features. I have made a separate video on how to use this program, so I recommend you to watch that video. The program number five, Thunderbird. I believe this is the best email client, but it is not just email client, you can also use it as an organizer. Let me just quickly show how I use it. I have here like seven different emails which are aggregated together and I can quickly have what I have in my inbox, I can open drafts, send, like junk folder, archives and even local folders. So I can easily access any of these emails and I can also send emails to, from any of this account. And everything is just in one place. I also like how you write emails here, for example I can click write and then just write everything here. So it is very nice application to manage your emails. Moreover, if you install Lightning extension to Thunderbird, you can also have a calendar here. So it's very easy to add events here and you can also get a notification about these events on your desktop. So for me, Thunderbird is also essential app. I use it all the time because it is my email client where I can aggregate emails from all my accounts. And it is also my organizer because this is where I manage my calendars. So if you still use web applications to access your emails, I highly recommend you to try Thunderbird, even if you have just one email client. It is much more convenient. The next program is VirtualBox. This is a must-have for anyone who creates YouTube videos about Linux, because this is the easiest way to test any Linux distribution. It is also a nice way to record different videos. Of course, I usually try to test different Linux distros on real hardware, but it is often not convenient to record videos on real hardware. So I usually record all my videos using VirtualBox, because if you do something wrong, you can easily reverse the changes and re-record that part again. It is also a nice way to test different things. For example, I have KDNE on here in a virtual machine. So before I install anything on my real computer, I can go to that virtual machine and test it there. I can also test Arch Linux installation and I have a video on how to install Arch Linux so you can watch that video as well. I even have Windows 7 here just for test purposes. And I also have a video on how to install Windows 10 in a virtual box which again I showed in the previous video and I will link to that video in the description and in the card here. And you can also see a couple of virtual machines here about MX Linux which I have published recently. So it is very convenient, you just click start here and your virtual machine will load the another Linux distribution inside your Linux distribution. You can even load Windows inside your Linux if you want. If you use Linux and you have not tried VirtualBox yet, I highly recommend you to do that. So here is MX Linux inside my KDE Neon. This is one of the ways you can use VirtualBox. And the program number three is KeePassX. This is the password manager. There are many different password managers available on Linux. I have tried most of them about five years ago and I decided to choose Keepas X as the best password manager for me. I need to do another research, maybe there are better tools now, but since I have all my passwords in this application already, I keep using it. It is very secure, all your passwords are encrypted just with a single password. So you start Keepas X, you enter one password and then you can decrypt all the other passwords which you store in this application. And this is very useful application. Let me show you just an example how you can use it. 
For example, here for this video, I have created like three passwords here. So one password is for my Gmail account. Another password is for my website, for example. And I also have a password here for Skillshare. Let me say I want to log into my Skillshare account. I right click here, go to open URL, and it automatically opens Skillshare website. Then I just go to sign in. Then I go to this password manager, right click here, select copy username, paste my username here. Then I go back to my password manager, right click here, copy password. You can also use shortcuts as you can see. And paste my password and sign in. It is as simple as this. So it is very useful application. I highly recommend you to use password manager and to create different passwords for different accounts you use on the web. Never use the same passwords for all your accounts. It is very insecure. I may make a separate video where I will compare different password managers, but for now, KeePassX is my choice number one. It is free and it is one of my favorite Linux applications. And my second favorite Linux application is Yakuyak. I believe this is the best terminal application for Plasma 5 desktop. It is a drop-down terminal. And I have made a separate video on this program as well, but I just want to show you key features why I like this application. Because you can split your screen into different screens, as you can see here. I have three different screens here. You can also create different tabs and have different workspaces inside Yakoyak. For example, I can work in this tab using my Git. Here I can just work in my home directory, or I can go to my downloads folder and work in my downloads folder. So it is very, very powerful application and I place it on the number two because I use it every day and I use it for most of my work. So I believe a drop-down terminal is a must-have for any Linux user. If you're on Plasma 5, use Yakuyak. If you use some other desktops, there are alternatives which I have also shown in one of my previous videos, which I will leave in the description. And my favorite Linux application is Dolphin File Manager. It may be trivial, but let me explain you why Dolphin is my favorite application. I believe it is the best file manager on Linux, and every other file manager should try to implement the same features which are available on this file manager. For example, you can have access to all your favorite apps here on the left, and you can reorder them whatever you want. There are no restrictions on this. You can also have different tabs, as I have here, for example, as you can see. Moreover, you can have many different tools which you can bring here. For example, here I have different view style. Also in Dolphin, you can have different view style for different folders. For example, you can see my folder has a list view now, and then I switch to an icon view. But if I go to my videos, I still have a list view here. So it doesn't change the view for different folders. So this is one of my favorite features. You can show hidden files, you can hide them. You can show previews, you can hide previews. You can open terminal right from here in that folder. For example, now I'm in my home, but if I go to my video and click on this terminal icon, it will bring me right to my video folder. So this is very useful. There are many useful shortcuts. For example, if you press F3, you will have a split view and then you can have different views on the same screen. If you press F4, you can open terminal built-in inside Dolphin File Manager. There are many, many other features available in this file manager. If you just go to the menu and preferences, you will find many things you can configure here. Like it's very powerful. There are many different plugins which you can enable here. If you right click on this tools menu, you can go to configure toolbars. And as you can see, you can bring in many, many shortcuts and tools right into your uh, toolbar of the Dolphin file manager. I have brought here the most frequently used tools for me, but you can bring here your favorite tools. And it is very stable, very fast and very reliable. Maybe it is trivial, but believe me, a good file manager is essential to anyone who uses Linux a lot and who works with many and large files, as I do, for example. I hope you like this list and I would be happy to hear the list of your favorite applications. Please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.